A man who was shot in the head in an apparent road rage incident is making a miraculous recovery after initially not being expected to survive. Metro police say the shooting happened in South Nashville on Murfreesboro Pike last week. At around 9 in the morning, officers quickly arrested 22-year-old David Bush, charging him with attempted murder and reckless endangerment. News 2's Tori Gessner talked with the victim's daughter, who says her dad still has a long road to recovery. The 55-year-old victim asked to stay anonymous in fear for his life because of what happened on Murfreesboro Pike last Thursday. His daughter, Brianna Tapia, describing it from his perspective. She says he was pulling out of work when he saw a car fly down the road and pull up next to his white truck. They said he had really dark tinted windows, didn't even see him or anything. And then all of a sudden he was shot and he said he couldn't move. And he was on a phone call, so he just kept screaming. And he still can't speak very well, so he just kept screaming, shot, shot, shot. The father of five was shot in the head. You never think it's going to happen to you or anybody close to you. I mean, you hear about it all the time on the news, but you never think it's going to be you. That afternoon, Metro Police arrested 22-year-old David Bush, who reportedly told detectives he was driving recklessly to try to follow his girlfriend, who was in a separate car. According to officers, a witness's dash camera shows the victim's truck moving into the middle turn lane where Bush was driving, forcing him to slow down. Then, police say Bush swerved across lanes, pulled up next to the victim's truck, and fired multiple shots. Bush was charged with attempted homicide and reckless endangerment, currently out of jail on a $125,000 bond. If my kids were to commit such a senseless act of violence, they would do the time of their crime. And he is just at home living his life like he didn't just try to kill my dad. Now, the focus has shifted toward her dad's survival, defying doctor's expectations. He still has a long way to go out of work for the foreseeable future with no medical insurance, his family started a GoFundMe to help while also sharing some advice they learned along the way. I personally think that everybody should have a way to protect themselves at all times. I personally carry at all times and I think that it's very important that people have some form of protection because you have no idea what your day to day is going to look like. Tapia hopes Bush is convicted and gets a life sentence. He's set to appear in court on April 26th. We'll post a link to that GoFundMe on WKRN.com. Haley.